puppies are coming. Excellent. Alright, darling. Good girl, Rox. Good girl. Well, oh, that's just. Oh, it's not. Is it? If a dead pup is left inside Roxy, she'll start to become septic herself and she can be seriously ill and even die. Now, we're going to try and get you out of this box somehow because I can't really look at you. At Bondi's oh, Referral yeah. Hospital yeah. Sash, Lisa's examining five year old Roxy who's in labour and in trouble. Come on forward, sweetie. This way, no, Mama. No. Roxy. don't want to be moving. Oh, no, this is your the beagle bed. arrived in a cardboard oh, box and she doesn't want to leave it. Roxy went into labour this morning and she's already delivered three pups and none of them are, are living so the, the concern is that there, there are more pups in there. If they're not alive we really have to get them out because they can rot and, and make the mum very sick. That's a good girl. No, there's no puppy in the pelvic canal. Okay, let's go get an x-ray of you, hon. <laughs> Hi, Rox. Roxy's labour has stalled. Lisa oh, couldn't no, find Rox. any pups in the birth canal. That way. So now she'll oh. x-ray Roxy's uterus to check how many are still inside. Good girl. The x-rays reveal that three puppies' lives could be hanging in the balance, and so too is Roxy's. If a dead pup is left inside Roxy, she'll start to become septic herself and she can be seriously ill and even die. Little pink, my darling. I'm just going to give her the injection that's going to stimulate her uterus to contract and hopefully we'll be able to get the puppies out without having to take her to surgery. A little pinch. X-rays have revealed there are still pinch. three puppies inside Roxy. Lisa and vet nurse Jess are not sure if any of them are alive. Okay, there you go. Before coming into the hospital, Roxy delivered three pups, all stillborn. Okay, we have a puppy. We have a puppy. Puppies are coming. Excellent. Right, Good girl, Rox. Good girl. Well, oh, that's just. Oh, it's not. Is it? It yeah, is. Yeah, it is. It's a dead puppy. I'm sorry. Well, it's very small, isn't it? Very. I think it's underdeveloped. Yeah, it's underdeveloped. Okay. okay. Right. Oh, God. There's another one. There is no way there is anything living in this dog. It's got to be pretty tough for her. She's got to go through the whole birthing process and then she doesn't have the, the pups in the end. Hey, Rox, you going to give another one? And despite everything she's gone through, the drama is not yet over. Can I do another push? If the third pup doesn't come out after the injection, she will need to have a caesarean because we cannot leave a dead puppy inside her. I'll just give her another shot, Jess, if you wouldn't mind holding her head. Little stings. Lisa's just given Roxy another yeah. injection of oxytocin in the hope yeah, it will stimulate her uterus to push out yeah, the last it's a pup. Hard day today for you. It needs to come out because a rotting puppy inside Roxy is going to make her very sick and she could die from that. Mm, here's the last one. Rox, things didn't go too well for you, huh? I'm going to take it away now. I know. I know, sweetheart. There's nothing worse than delivering a whole litter full of dead puppies and we just really have to look at it from the positive point of view that Roxy's OK. Roxy. Who's here? Look who's here. It's Papa Dad. With the last puppy out, Roxy's making a remarkable recovery, much Working to the relief of her owners Jason and Amanda. Roxy may look okay, but she, she's under a lot of stress. Humans go through a huge ordeal when they deliver a baby, and, and animals do too. Fortunately for Roxy, by avoiding a caesarean, she will still be able to have another litter. We're sad that the pups didn't turn out, but yeah, she's a lovely dog, a lovely companion, and we're just happy she's still here. Right? So, bittersweet, really. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.